Hey peeps, welcome back to Project and on this end of today's video. We're going to be laser engraving a shelf utilizing a free online program. So let's get to it. So for today's project, we're going to be using our X-Tool D1 Pro 20 watt diode laser. And for the program, we're going to be using a online program hosted on the Festi website called boxes.py. And what this program does, in addition to just simple boxes, there's a whole bunch of different projects that are uploaded there by users that takes advantage of the accuracy of laser cutting to make super accurate box joinery. So to be utilizing this program, we're going to be creating a shelf for our new Super Clean products sent to us by Super Clean. So let's get to it. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and use the boxes.py resource to create some storage for our Super Clean products. So let's get on the internet and find the type of box we wanna to use to create the storage. So here's the material we're gonna use and what we need to do before we get into creating the box in the website is measure the thickness, just about five millimeters. All right, so we're on the boxes.py website and it's actually hosted here on the festi.info website. So here's the actual URL. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and choose a box that we wanna use for this project. So we're gonna go ahead and use this to adjust our parameters for our specific project. All right, so now that we have the box that we're gonna use selected, you can see we will be able to edit our parameters for our particular box here. We're going to go ahead and make some adjustments here for our specific project based off of our measurements. This is really neat in that you can create as many sections as you need for this particular project. If you had more than two products that you're gonna put on this shelf, you could just add a colon and then continue with measurements for the third section. So because we're only gonna be putting two things there, we're gonna leave it like that. And we're gonna put in our measurements for our products. And this is in millimeters. And then because this is a right angle, you can actually turn this into a, a right angle clamp. And just by selecting this and then entering in the hole for your clamp to go through, you can adjust that. But we're not using it for a clamp, so we're gonna leave that. We are going to add mounting holes to ours. And it is a shelf, so we're gonna go ahead and click sturdy. I'm gonna go ahead and put 4.95 just to account for any irregularities in our plywood. And then what is really cool about this is we can export this directly into a light burn file. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then everything else I'm gonna go ahead and leave as default. Uh, but you can see if you are having some issues with the tolerances of the uh, little box joints here, you can uh, make some adjustments to get that a little bit closer or thin them down a little bit if they're not uh, fitting right. We're gonna leave that as default right now and we're gonna go ahead and download this and bring it into Lightburn. All right, when I open up the Lightburn file, it will show that it's been created by Klaus Steinhammer, hit OK, and then you can see everything that we need is in here in our Lightburn file. So we'll do some confirming in our measurements here, and you can see if we click on this, this is kind of like a reference. If we click on this, it should be 100 millimeters, and right now it's, we're in inches. If I convert that to millimeters, you can see, yeah, and our width is exactly 100 millimeters. And then let's see, I wanna confirm size of this, that looks good, and the size of this, yep. That was good. Um, it looks like everything that we need is here and we do have our hanging holes. So this is perfect just as it is. Obviously we are not going to burn this here. So we're gonna go ahead and delete that. And um, you can see that the labels that it puts on it is really helpful for uh, when you go to construct this, it will tell you basically where what everything is. So that's really neat. And it also puts it on a tool path layer. So it's not gonna cut out and you don't have to worry about deleting those at all. But what we do wanna do is we want to make sure that we're restructuring these, moving these around so that we're getting best use of our materials because we don't wanna have any waste. And we can easily just you know flip things around here. If I rotated this 180 degrees, you can see now that I can put that here and we don't waste nearly as much material, just like that. We're gonna go ahead and use our X tool for this project. All right, now that we have everything organized the way we want it for our cut, what I'm gonna do now is just set our parameters for our cuts and 
guess I will reorder this because I'm going to want the little holes to cut out first. So I'll just move this up and then let's set our parameters for this cut. I think I can do this in three passes. I don't know if I need four. Well, I'll go ahead and leave four passes on just in case. So I think we're all set up to cut. You saw in the fast time that I did stop and do some adjustments because we were cutting through these little holes here in two passes. So I went ahead and stopped it, turned it down to three passes and then saw there was really no need for three passes. So, so I stopped it again and just made it two passes and we're cut all the way through on two passes. So this thing's a cutter for sure. So you can see we got some pretty clean cuts all the way through. And to assemble, it's real simple. Let's make sure our tolerances, yeah, our tolerances are perfect. Quick dry assembly here. And there you go. That's pretty neat, huh? Now, ideally we would have done this before, but we actually wanted to put a super clean logo on here engraved. So we have to take this apart anyway for gluing. So we're gonna go ahead and take this opportunity to engrave super clean on there. So our X-Tool laser did a really good job at cutting everything. I think that's the perk of this laser is that you can cut through pretty thick wood. And very quickly as mm -hmm. well. Now, as far as the settings go in boxes up high, you saw it's really simple. As long as you can convert inches to millimeters, if you're using inches, everything is pretty easy to understand. And there's clear descriptions for each component that you need to enter. And it's really neat letting the program just kind of take care of all of the variables and cut out you know, perfect finger joinery for uh, a nice cool shelf or box or treasure chest or whatever it, the project you want to do is. And it's really cool that they have so many different options on what you can laser cut with your machine and for free. Yeah, we'll definitely be using boxes.py in the future for many different boxes or sh shelving projects that we need to do. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like it if you liked it. Like it. Subscribe if you enjoy our content. Subscribe. And turn on those notifications so you get reminded every single time we post a video. Stay crafty. And be happy. Bye.